Hi everyone, my name is Mark Kwok and we're gonna talk about some of my very favorite things. Today we're gonna talk first about the Hario V60. This is a coffee dripper, also a coffee maker, I guess. And it's quite simple, this is, this is it. Has some ribbed sort of edgings in the middle. And this is what makes you delicious coffee for not very expensive. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, particularly around this uh, quarantine. I'm talking like four cups a day. It's, it's getting pretty bad. I used to be at like one cup. What happened to those days? This is the V02 size. It is probably the most popular size, I wanna say. When you go to Amazon, it actually defaults to 02. I actually have the 01 as well. You can see the size difference here. Honestly, though this thing is nice and made of the same exact material and so on, I would highly recommend folks get this one. I think this can actually go, I think they rate it from one to four cups of coffee. Whereas this thing is basically like one or two cups of coffee. So as much as I love this, this is $18. This is 23, $5 more I know, but I would get rid of that one and try to get this one. So what is actually needed with this to make coffee? Well, this, this just the simple thing and this. This is a paper filter. Now, honestly, I think you can use any paper filter. This is the Hario specific paper filter, but it's not that, that expensive. We're talking a hundred of these for five, six dollars. So all you do is you put it into the machine here and then you're off to the races. So there's actually specific instructions for how to make good coffee with this thing. It's, it's not that hard, but the truth is I'd kind of just eye everything and do it somewhat um, non-scientifically. And I know that's probably gonna bother some coffee snobs, but I think it creates great coffee. I've been drinking a lot of coffee. It's pretty forgiving. That's basically what I'm saying. Now these are the essentials for what you need, but you actually can buy some other things that make it nice and beautiful. And, and I was a sucker and I actually did buy them. So the first one is this glass pot. It's pretty nice, isn't it? So this pot here, you actually just put the Hario on top, the filter inside here, of course, and there is kind of a full capsulated system there. This is a full coffee machine. Do you need this? No. Do you want it? I mean, I wanted it. I think it looks pretty cool, and I think it... I will say it's a little fragile. Uh, this is actually the second one I've got. This is my second version because the first one, um, you know, you're just washing dishes, it'll, it'll crack and so on. But um, if you can get both, if you have the money for it, I would suggest it, but really you only need this. Hario actually also makes a scale. Truth is I've gotten used to how much coffee you need to put to be able to make a nice cup of coffee. So I don't even use this anymore. I think you need this for the first time. and. If you're really, really scientific about it, maybe you use it for the next times too, but I don't think this is all that necessary, but something they make as well. So let me teach you how to make some coffee this way. First is you would brew some water. I would actually brew to about 200, 210, somewhere between 200 and 210. Uh, mine goes, I think, to 208. I just take it off of the kettle at that point. Uh, boiling is what, 212? So maybe a little bit cooled off from boiling. boiling. Second put the coffee filter in and pour the hot water onto here. They say that this filter has some level of taste in it. Go ahead and drain it first uh, and then toss that water. I then take the coffee, let's say for a cup of coffee for me, I put about three-ish tablespoons um, of coffee and then about a cup and a half of water. Then you do wanna do what's called the bloom. Pour the water into this into the coffee kind of slowly and and make sure that all the grounds are kind of uh wet and after you've done that just let it sit and let it sit for maybe 30 seconds or so this is supposed to be able to kind of make the best reaction for for the coffee to come then just keep pouring just keep pouring little by little and make sure that, um, you know, this whole process should last you maybe about two to three minutes. It's not gonna be that long. I mean, it is longer than uh, letting a, you know, pressing a button on a coffee machine and letting it be, but there's something kind of therapeutic about it, to be honest. When you're actually doing it yourself, making it with your hands, you know, there, there's something like you're a barista, and I think that's a, that's a nice feeling to have every morning. So I would, um, I would give it a shot that way, and you should have a great cup of coffee at that point. 
Frankly, if you're here, you probably heard this. Um, this is probably one of the most popular pour overs out there. I believe even like a Blue Bottle uses this. Um, Blue Bottle actually, their, actually has their own cup as well, but I've actually gone to a Blue Bottle where they used a Hario. So there must've been a transition phase between this and then them going to their own. If you wanna do a pour over, I know there are other types of techniques, the French press, the Aero press, et cetera. If you wanna pour over, which I think is one of my favorite methods, um, I would suggest the Hario V60. So there it is, one of my favorite things. Um, there will be plenty more stuff on coffee as well, but I like a lot of things out here. Whatever it is, I'm here to kind of share with you my favorite things. So again, I'm Mark Kwok and um, thanks for listening.